everyone, it's Kim the Introvert here and I'm here to tell you three stories in this story time video about poor experiences in restaurants. So the first story I'm going to start with happened at a bar slash restaurant slash event place in Michigan and um, it was really well known. Um, I'm not going to say what part of Michigan it was. Well, I can say what part. It was West Michigan. Okay. Um, it was really well known uh, in that area in that city um it was where people had receptions it was where people uh there was also i think a club there i'm pretty sure it was a club there um it was in the downtown portion of the city that it was in i don't i'm trying so hard to avoid you know getting sued getting blocked getting whatever um but anyway so me and a group of friends went out to eat in this establishment one one day and it was a noisier, busier atmosphere where there was a bar. We weren't old enough to drink yet. <laughs> um, and so we sat, we, we got seated and um, we had, you know, we had ordered our food, gotten our water, cause that's what I had. Um, and we were just having a good time. Like, I, I don't remember anything being wrong with the food. The food was good. I don't remember anything being weird about the service. Like everything was like, was fine and so I love ice okay um I I know I've met so many people as an adult who crunch on ice and I used to crunch I used to eat ice so much in high school and I still don't eat as much as I did but I still eat ice and I love to like after I'm done drinking my water I I chew my ice and so I had finished my water and I was chewing my ice then I you know I think it was the end it was a little piece of ice and I, um, I drank, I dr got it in my mouth and I started crunching on it. And I was like, why, why isn't this ice melting? And I kept crunching, like, I, not like crunch, 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 but like I crunched it and it didn't melt. So I like crunched one more time and it didn't melt. And then I realized it wasn't ice, it was glass. And so I like was like I was just like oh my god you know like it was a little piece of glass that I thought was ice and so I told my boyfriend who was sitting next to me and I was just like you know there you know there's glass that there's you know there's glass in my drink and I just you know chewed it I need to go to the bathroom and spit it out so I went to the bathroom and like I washed out my mouth as much as possible thank god I did not swallow because I realized it wasn't ice before I swallowed it. I always like, when I crunch my ice, I wait for it to melt a little bit and then I swallow it. I don't just crunch, crunch, swallow. Like, I don't, yeah, no, that's not what I do. So like, I went to the bathroom, I rinsed my mouth out as much as possible. I spit a lot just to like, get any remnants of glass out of my mouth. Um, and uh, while I was gone, so I, I rinsed my mouth out as much as possible and then I came back to the table. So, the waitress came by our table or they flagged her down or whatever. She came to the table and my boyfriend told her like, hey, my girlfriend had glass in her drink. Um, she just went to the bathroom to like try, you know, to get out of her mouth. And I was told that the waitress chuckled and said, oh yeah, someone must have broken a bottle over the glass, or sorry, someone must have broken a glass bottle over the ice bin. So sorry about that. Are you serious? Like, number one is like, I, I understand when, cause I've been in so many customer service jobs. I understand when there's a problem, um, when it comes to a customer, when they're complaining or they're upset or anything like that, you do, um, you never combat, you never make, you never become combative. You don't get angry with them or upset with them. You put on a smile and you say, you know, I'm so, you know, I'm so sorry. You know, what can I do to help? Um, no, she just like chuckled like it's glass it's glass like that's really dangerous like if you people have died from accidentally swallowing glass because once the glass gets into your body it can cut up it can cut anything inside of you and then now you have ex you have internal bleeding and if the doctors can't get to it or find it th yeah no that's a problem like that's not it's not cool so i think I think my whole table got a free meal. The manager came over and handled it correctly, but that waitress, no, she did not handle that correctly. Like, the, why would you chuckle at that? That's not funny. 
Um, but yeah, that was experience number one. We never went back. We never, ever went back. It was just, ugh. Number two, same city, West Michigan. Um, but this was, this happened maybe, maybe like a year later or so. Um, and I, my boyfriend and I went to a breakfast place that he had heard so much about. And I'm not gonna lie, the food was good, again. <laughs> again, the food was good. Um, I don't even remember what it was called. Um, but I ordered just a basic breakfast, you know. Uh, I think it was like turkey bacon, eggs, toast, something like that. So it was breakfast food, it had toast. The toast is the important part of this story. Okay, so we, we got our waitress, we ordered our food, no real problems. Um, but she, she served our, she, she served our food and while she was serving, cause you know how they put the toast on a separate saucer, a little, little plate. She was, she put down the main plate and then she was giving me my toast and she dropped it on the floor. She was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'll get you some more. No problem. And then like, I was like, oh yeah, it's fine. She did not pick up the toast. She just left it there. She like quickly walked away and I was waiting for my toast. So I just started, you know, eating the rest of my food. And then she comes back with another waitress. And the and she says, this is so-and-so. She's going to be your new waitress um, for the remainder of your time. Bye. You know? Um, and she, like, she left. And I'm just like, okay, I still did not get my toast. And, you st and it's still sitting on the ground in front of my table hello <laughs> like what is happening here S okay so i'm thinking that she told the new waitress um that what happened like hey i dropped her toast i put an order in for her can you when it when it's ready can you bring it out to that table that's what i'm thinking happened because i used to be a waitress and that's what i would have done and um so i waited and i actually got to the point where i like was almost done with my with the rest of my food and I never got my toast. So I had to ask. I was like, hey, you know, um, the previous waitress dropped my toast, which is still here in front of my table, right there at your feet. And she said she was going to bring more and she never did. And I'm still waiting for it. And she apologized and she went to go get it. But no one ever picked like <laughs> I got my toast, finished the food or whatever. We paid. It was time to go. Y'all, that toast stayed there for the entirety of our meal. Like, when we left, the toast was still sitting in front of our table. Like, it was right there. Why didn't nobody pick up that toast? I mean, I guess I could have picked up the toast. But why didn't nobody pick up that toast? <laughs> that was just weird. Like, why? What? What were you doing? And so, like, I left her... I don't even know if I left the the original waitress a tip. I don't think I think I tipped the second waitress in cash, and then the previous waitress I think I left her like twenty five cents or something like that. And then I wrote a note explaining why I only I left her such a low tip. Like number one, you dropped my toast. Number two, you left it in front of my table. And number three, you never replaced it. Like you you provided poor service. So yeah, this is what you get twenty five cents. And I don't know if, if that makes me a bad person or tip or whatever. Um, I don't mind tipping people. I like tipping people. But when you get poor service, I'm not just going to not tip you because you still serve me my food. But I'm going to give you less of a tip if you give me poor service. And then I'm going to tell you why I gave you less of a tip. Like, you need to know why. It's not because I'm being a brat or I'm being rude. It's because this is what you did to deserve this low tip. Okay. Third story. This story happened a few years later. Um, this story happened in Illinois. And uh, it happened in the south suburbs of Illinois. And there was, I, I worked, this is while I was working at a store and the, in a strip mall. And I, there was a restaurant that was at the end of the strip mall and they had really good food. Again, see, it always starts with really good food and then somebody got to mess stuff up because I never went back to that breakfast place. I never went back to that bar restaurant place. <coughs> Excuse me. And this place that I'm about to talk about, I never went back to it either. But this is for excellent reason. It was actually it had, a, it had to do with service 
and something else that happened. Okay, so it was in the evening. I called ahead of time to order a turkey burger because I don't eat um, red meat. I only eat uh, turkey, chicken, and fish. So I called ahead and I saw they had a turkey burger. So I ordered it and they told me your order will, you know, it's really busy right now. It's the dinner rush. Um, your order will be ready in a half hour. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, I'm not starving. I'm not going to die of hunger, you know. Um, so I'm just like, yes, yeah, fine. So I waited um, until, I don't know how long I waited. I put in my order and then I waited maybe maybe the entirety of the 30 minutes or I waited for at least 20 of the 30 minutes, whatever, I waited. And then I went to the restaurant to pick up my food. I got there and they're like, oh, sorry, we're really busy. Your order's not ready yet. Okay. So I, they said it'll be ready soon. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I sat down in the restaurant and waited for my food. My food didn't come up for another 20 or so minutes. Like, it was a long time. It wasn't like, oh, it really like five to 10 minutes. No, it was like way beyond that. Um, and I'm just like, what was the point of me even calling it in? Like what happened when I called it in? But I think they said they had a huge order and they had to put mine on the back burner until they finished the huge order, something like that. Anyway, so, okay, I get it. That happens. I've been in food service before it happens. Um, so I waited, um, I got the burger, went back to my job, um, open up the food, set it up, getting ready. Taste buds are buzzing. Mouth is watering. I am waiting with anticipation of this delicious turkey burger to just bless my mouth. So I am the type of person who, I'm trying to remember how I got to this point. I think I, I bit into the sandwich. So I, I bit into the sandwich because uh, usually what I do when I have a sandwich is I open it to look at it because I just don't trust people and pe you find all kinds of stuff in a sandwich. I found some interesting things in my food in restaurants, okay, and eating establishments. I, I guess people are just going too fast and so stuff just like gets in the food when they're cooking it and I get it. Like I said, I've been in food service. It happens. Um, so I had already taken a bite. I had already taken a bite. I really wish I had opened this sandwich. I think I opened, I think I didn't open it because I had been there before. So I was like, oh, this place is cool. Like, I'll be fine. I had already taken a bite, okay? And I looked down to take another bite. And there's this curly black hair chilling on the pickle. Like what? It, oh, and I was just so grossed out because I had already taken a bite. So I don't know what was in that first bite. I don't know if this was the only hair. I don't know if it was one of two hairs. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I previously ate something that wasn't supposed to be on the sandwich. And, it was, and I took a picture of it, but it's on my old phone. But I was just like, oh my God, are you serious? And I took a picture of it because I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, I waited all this time. I waited nearly like 45 minutes to an hour for a turkey burger. Just one patty. No fries, no shake, nothing, nothing extra. Just a turkey patty, okay? A turkey burger. And now there's a freaking hair, a curly black hair in my sandwich that I was so excited and waiting in, in anticipation for. And now I can't even eat it. And it's late now. So like, and they're busy. So they can't, I'm not, I'm not going back there. So yeah, that just really sucks. So I never went back to that place. I never went back to that breakfast place. And I never went back to that bar slash restaurant because yeah, it only takes one crappy time for me not to ever go back somewhere. And those are my three bad experience restaurant times. Um, I do have other ha stories where the restaurant was just like, I had crappy experiences, but I'm just gonna keep it three because I don't feel like being here forever. This video is already 14 minutes long. So thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye.